and we picked out a hotel in advance, so many from which to choose. Yes, the selection is large. And making the right choice can add many hours of extra pleasure to your trip. And I would never forget about the Jack Stewart mural. Um, this is something that the city as a whole has been really interested in and really uh, working with not only the applicant, but also city, city staff, um, various departments, including the Parks Department, um, property management, to see how the, we, can, we can create a, a restored mural that's really part of the community. So we had outlined an option in December that, that proposed uh, to retain the mural on site, so that'd be on the Versailles site, but adaptively kind of reused as a uh, garden sculpture. Um, while we do believe that is a potentially a viable option, um, the more we started talking about it with other city, um, city departments, we thought that taking this mural and actually bringing it to the public realm might enhance uh, public appreciation, keeping it on private property, which as you can see when you look at the site plan is gonna be highly controlled um, in terms of the access to the site. It might be um, more of a public benefit if we actually work with the applicant to bring this um, into a city facility or into the, the, the public realm. Um, we have looked at a couple options, uh, one of which was um, the Scott Raikow Youth Center uh, we've, we've been talking with the Parks Department. Um, there is large areas of blank wall on that. Uh, obviously, any, any installation of, of such mural would require further city approvals um, in city commission approval. Um, but I think the applicant wants to discuss um, that with you today. And staff is open uh, to, to alternatives for the mural. And we have placed conditions um, in our draft order, uh, recommended conditions that would ensure that mural um, does not get forgotten about and does become part of um, kind of our public art world in the city. And that is all I have. I believe the applicant. Neeson Kasdan, uh, Ackerman LLP, representing the applicant. You'll be hearing shortly from Luis Rovelta, the architect of record. Um, if the board would, would like, Mr. Chair, we do have renderings of the uh, mural uh, as it would look <coughs> if placed on the Raycow Center, uh, which we, if you would like, we can share with you now or later. Um, please, please do now if you'd like. Page, if we can move the slides, the back of the slide presentation, and go to page 20. There, uh, there we go. That and the next slide. So, uh, you know, we had proposed uh, that the uh, mural be put on the uh, parking garage at 17th Street. The city uh, uh, opposed that because there are perhaps long-term plans to eliminate that garage. Uh, we also felt it was not appropriate, of course, to have it as a ground sculpture sort of broken up on the grounds of the Versailles. And I don't know if it was Debbie or someone else in the city came up with this as an alternate location, which is the essentially the blank wall of the Ray Cal Youth Center on Pine Tree Drive and, and 28th Street. And we actually think that this is an excellent suggestion. Uh, it accomplishes a number of things. Uh, first of all, the Jack Stewart mural is meant to be viewed not at ground level, but from some elevation, approximately this elevation. So this is much more in keeping with the original display of the mural, the placing on the ground or on a wall. I'll show the next slide as well. Uh, you also see this is from Pine Tree Drive, the view from Pine Tree Drive. One of the interesting things that this does is the other piece of the mural wraps around the corner towards 28th Street, which is exactly the way the mural when it was on the Versailles Annex was, with this portion facing Collins and the other portion facing South. So uh, we think this was a, a really good idea the city staff came up with. It also is a, a fairly heavily traveled area, Pine Tree Drive and Sheridan 
Sheridan Avenue. Uh, and it also is across the street from a, a small city park, which will also allow for, for uh, viewing and contemplation of it. So we just wanted to show it to you where we, we think that this location candidly should be approved so we could go forward with our pledge to restore and place the mural. Thank you, Neeson, for a very interesting um, presentation. Then we can open the public hearing. Okay. Our next speaker is Mitch Novick. Good afternoon, members of the board and staff. Mitch Mr. Novick. Novick, do you swear under oath that any and all testimony that you give in this proceeding is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Absolutely. Mitch Novick here. I once chaired the HPB on Miami Beach for five years. I look forward to the restored Versailles Hotel. It is our very own Art Deco skyscraper here on Miami Beach and in full support of the entire project. Regarding renowned artists, Jack Stewart, Mosaic, Apollo Mural, I have to commend staff or Deborah, whoever thought of installing this on the blank wall of the Rake House Center. It's a brilliant idea. That primary elevation has always bothered me, and this will fill in that void. Pine Tree in Sheridan, a street which likely has thousands of vehicles passing daily, I imagine public appreciation for Stewart's masterpiece will be held in high regard. The sighting on the Rakehouse Center, I like this proposal more than the municipal garage proposal in that the trajectory of the sun will shine on this piece, showing its reflective qualities within the glazing. And again, I'm in full support of this project. Thank you. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. Um, just a full disclosure, I'm not going to take credit for selecting the location. Um, I need to give a shout out to Jose Del Risco at the Parks Department. This is their facility, and, and he is the one that initially thought of the concept. So um, real quick, our next speaker is Daniel Seraldo. Thank you, and I have already been sworn in. Um, thank you, Board. Daniel Seraldo on behalf of Miami Design Preservation League. And for those in the audience, uh, you can always check out our positions on our blog at mdpl.org. We appreciate the commitment made to restore, renovate, and reinstall, all at no cost to the city of Miami Beach, the Jack Stewart Apollo mural, among other public benefits proffered. We expect this condition to be clear within the final order in order to ensure follow through. Hopefully the attorney can help with that. And lastly, uh, back to the Jack Stewart mural. Um, originally hearing about it, um, just in concept, I was extremely skeptical. Um, I think Debbie, you made a great argument in terms of having um, this artwork be um, able to be appreciated publicly. Um, also, I think the positioning is fantastic. Um, so, so I'm really happy about that. And it's also in the same neighborhood, uh, which is nice. It's in proximity. Um, my only question, again, going back to details, and I'm sorry, I just like to feel comfortable about these things. So in the draft order, it says to relocate and renovate. It doesn't really say install. And so I wanted to ask for clarification on how we get this from being in a storage unit to actually being up on a building. Everyone can appreciate it and we can all move on that we've all done our job. That's a good question. I think it does need clarification. So th this was part of the applicants proper when they received approval by the city commission for the, the increase in height. So that is part, you know, in order for them to get the increase in height, this is something that they have formally agreed to as a partnership with the city. Um, the reason why this, this doesn't have a, a specific location is because requiring it to go on, say, the Scott Rakeout, which is what we're, you know, what we're happy with and looking at now, would not be under the jurisdiction of this board. Um, that would need, you know, city authorization, city commission, commission authorization. And since it's not located in a historic district, would also need design review board approval. Um, so we couldn't require that as part of your order. However, what we have required is that the applicant, regardless of where it's going to go, 
returned to you prior, again, prior to the issuance of any building permit for their new tower, returned to you with the final plan approved the, by the city. Okay, we're, we're using the words in the order relocate and renovate. Is the inference supposed to be that it'll also be installed or is it the city's responsibility to actually install it? Um, no, the applicant has agreed to install it and pay for all costs associated with the restoration. Can we just um, word that yeah, in there? Let me see, what, what condition is that? What um, number is that? Condition, it's condition C1B. I do think it covers it. And uh, because- uh, it, it's a, It relocate. says relocation and restoration. We could, we could um, include relocation, install, restoration and installation. I think- It'd be nice if we could, if, if everyone's yeah. happy with that. That's fine. Okay, thank you so much. You. So thank so that's it for me. Um, lastly, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you all for all of your work on this project. Um, extremely excited to see the Versailles renovated. And I think you all have done a beautiful job with this proposal and, and working with all of us and, and our feedback. So thank you so much. May I just ask a question in, re in reference to Kirk's uh, inquiry about the mural? One of my concerns is, and I don't think it's going to happen, but that wherever it gets relocated, it gets altered in size and its aspect ratio. And I don't know, and I meant to ask that if the propose that you showed us at the Scott Raycow, was that of its original size or was it altered to fit there? And can we do something to protect that from occurring or, or has that been thought of? Just to add, add to that, Mr. Klein, the, the image that you saw that we superimposed on the Raycow wall is exactly the dimensions of the mural as it was when it was installed on the annex to the Versailles. So one of the overriding principles of location was where is there a wall that's big enough, long okay, enough? great and tall enough yeah. to allow us to install it in exactly the same, or There's almost no, exactly the no same. No alterations, yeah. no, nothing planned to alter right. the original artwork. Right, and okay. this, the Rake House Center wall allows us to do that. Yeah. Thank you.